Hi, my name is Mario Martinez Jr., CEO and founder of Ingresso. In this video, we'll review how to use LinkedIn's mutual connections. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel. And if you're on YouTube, check the alert notification button here. So you have LinkedIn Sales Navigator, and now you're ready to find that shared connection to get you introduced. So using Kurt Shaver, uh, currently he's obviously a first degree connection of mine. However, pretend that it's a second degree connection, or possibly you might be a first degree, but don't know this person very well. And so you wanna actually uh, be able to connect with them through a mutual connection or shared connection, a referral. So how do you do it? It is different than on LinkedIn, the mothership. And in fact, I like it better here. So if I scroll down, there's a several ways to see all of your shared connections. One, you can click on shared connections and it'll take you here to a filtered set of shared connections, which will show a total of 1000. Run it back out of there and I'll show you the second place. If I click on see all, I will see the three things that I have in common with Kurt and I can still get to my shared connections by clicking that there. And it comes to the same exact screen that you just saw a second ago. Now, finally, I'll show you the third place. And this is the area that I recommend that you use. This is under the connections to Kurt Shaver, ask the intro section. If I click on see all connections, watch what happens on the screen in terms of the interface. It's a pop-out window. And this pop-out window allows you to be able to scroll uh, as far as I know, as infinitely as possible. I've never gotten past a thousand. So that having been said, keep on scrolling and you tell me. But what you can do here, which I really, really, really like, is I can ask directly for an intro from here. And I can go one by one by one and hit send and keep on going down the line. Now, what you wanna notice here is what is inside of the text down here. One of the reasons why I like using this area here is because I'm able to actually make this bigger and it has Kurt Shavers, uh, the prospect I'm looking to get in front of, the URL there. If I went the other route, the first two ways I showed you, I would have to copy his URL in order to be able to send it message by message. I'll show you that in a second. So. What do I do here? Generally, I come right inside of here and I delete that information. I also come inside of here and I delete here because I do not like LinkedIn's actual message. Why? Because it doesn't help me make the connection. So what do I do? Well, I use fly message and we're gonna show you the fly cuts that you can use to get the first step of a digital referral. Watch what happens. Dash, first refer, boom. Now I can take this URL right inside of here and I can come inside there and replace that in my text. And I've got there and I can say, hey, Mike, I hope all is well. In reviewing LinkedIn, I notice you're directly connected to, in this case, I'll say Kurt Shaver, Kurt Shaver. And here's the URL. Very important to put that inside there because you want that person to be able to uh, easily click on that person's profile and see how well they do they know them. I was wondering if you know them well enough that you'd be willing to introduce the two of us. If you do, I will provide you a separate introduction message via LinkedIn or email that you could use to easily make the introduction. I appreciate any insights you may have related to here, Kurt, or any help you can offer. Thanks again, Mario. And you can close it out however way you like, or just put thanks. So now I would hit the send button and I could literally copy and paste each one of these just like this i would copy it before i hit send now close that up and i'll go on to the next one and here all i gotta do is change the name to steve right there and i can hit send and go send and go now that's one of the reasons why i like using this particular interface because of the url is there now let me go back and show you what happens if you were to use it the other way, which totally works as well. So I can come here now and I'm in the navigator filter area. Here I can mouse right over there, click the message button and click my message and change the name, hit send and go. So I just have to write it one time and keep on going down the line uh, 
So that's one of the only reasons why I suggest using it the other way. Also too, I can only get up to a thousand search results through this view as well. You decide what works best for you and we'll go over in more details the fly message script for getting a referral for using that first step that I just showed you, that trick of the trade. So hang tight, we'll show you some more info.